Good afternoon, and thanks for having us here. Um, I'm the executive director of HACSA, the Housing and Community Services Agency of Lane County. Uh, we're the second largest public housing authority in Oregon. And before I tell you about HACSA, I'd like to give you some background about the photos of, uh, of affordable housing developments that you see. Um, at Richard's invitation about a year ago, I attended the opening of Metropolitan Affordable Housing's um, Willa Kenzie Crossing. And during uh, Mayor Piercy's opening remarks, her remarks, uh, she said, wouldn't it be great if a lot more people could see how wonderful the quality of affordable housing is in our community? And that became the catalyst for a collaboration among HACSA, St. Vincent de Paul, Metro, shelter care, and mainstream housing. And we put together a photo exhibit which was first shown at last year's Eugene Celebration. And it has been presented at the Holiday Fair and Home and Garden Show. And it will be shown at the LTD Customer Service Center, the Eugene Public Library, and again at the Eugene Celebration this summer. Affordable housing photos will likely be shown in the lobbies of several banks this fall. In addition, they were the background at a S Eugene City Council meeting when Mayor Piercy proclaimed October 2012 Housing America Month. We want everyone to know that affordable housing is often the nicest property on the block. Uh, HACSA, since 1992, has developed 10 affordable housing projects. Um, and we've also completed ma major rehabilitation of several others. Uh, we have ex uh, three, at least three, exciting projects in the pipeline. In partnership with St. Denny's, we will develop Bascom Village, 101 affordable multi-bedroom multi apartments for working families and seniors in North Eugene. In partnership with Metro, we have begun to develop a catalytic project in Glenwood. This will be 150 units of affordable workforce housing. Included will be some small commercial space along Franklin Boulevard to spur economic development. And finally, in collaboration with Brian Obie and the Fifth Street Public Market and St. Vinnie's, we plan to develop about 75 affordable apartments of workforce and veterans housing on 6th Street between Oak and Pearl. Today, I, I want to focus my remarks on HACSA's impact as a public housing authority. During my 33 years at HACSA, we have built or acquired 1,500 low-income housing units in Lane County. 708 of those are public housing units, which serve the lowest of the low-income population. About half of our residents are elderly or disabled or both. We're funded by HUD for most of our programs and also and to administer the Section 8 Housing Choice Voucher Program. Under this program, we subsidize clients' rents in the form of housing assistance payments to about 750 private landlords in Lane County. Last calendar year, Access housing assistance payments totaled over $15 million. We are authorized to issue 2,925 vouchers to low-income families and individuals, and these include 135 VASH vouchers for homeless veterans. The Housing Choice Voucher Program results in very significant funding throughout our local economy. We also subsidize the rent for about 85 formerly homeless disabled clients under the HUD Shelter Plus Care Program. Clients are case managed by several local nonprofits. The annual subsidy under this program totals about $400,000. HACSA also has an energy services division. We provide comprehensive weatherization services to about 250 low income households each year. Cost effective measures are installed by private contractors and paid for with public and private funding from federal grants and local utilities and participating electric and natural gas utilities. EWEB is our most significant partner. 
We have an energy educator who delivers various, various presentations to Head Start and elementary school ch children, HACSA clients and community groups, as well as participants in Lane County's Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. We also run several programs that provide opportunities for our clients to obtain economic self-sufficiency. Services include case management and referrals to appropriate community re resources. These programs have been very important in assisting many of our clients to leave subsidized housing and in several cases become homeowners. Unfortunately, we are able to enroll only a limited number of families in these programs because of it inadequate funding. Uh, HACSA collaborates with several local nonprofits in addition to Metro and St. Finney's. Over the years, we have acquired three facilities in which shelter care provides program services. Last year, we completed a major rehabilitation project in w at one of those facilities, Hawthorne Apartments, 35 units of project-based subsidized housing for adults with psychiatric disabilities. We also developed and own a 16-unit apartment building that houses Shelter Plus Care clients and serves as Shelter Care's office for the program. We work with NEDCO regarding home ownership and security deposit loans to HACSA residents. We have also collaborated with sponsors for many years. A few years ago, we developed and became the general partner of Roosevelt Crossing, a 72-bed transitional facility for ex-offenders. We have allocated five Housing Choice vouchers to sponsors' clients who are appropriate for, ha for HACSA affordable housing. We have also allocated four vouchers to future residents of Stellar Apartments, which is St. Finney's project currently under construction. And I want to spend a few minutes talking about severely reduced federal funding, which has significantly diminished our ability to administer these programs. Last March, ha uh, Congress extended the continuing resolution, which sustained last year's austere HUD funding through September 30th, 2013, the end of the federal fiscal year. We have been under a continuing resolution for a total of 40 months during the last five years. Congress's inability to pass a budget represents a total collapse of functioning government. Sequestration has made a bleak situation bleaker. For the remainder of this calendar year, we will receive 82% of funding that HUD says is needed to operate the public housing program. 69% of the funding needed to administer the Housing Choice Voucher Program, and 93% of the funding needed to subsidize Section 8 rental payments to private landlords. HACSA's Section 8 waiting list was closed for five and a half out of the last eight years. It reopened on April 8, 2013, and a lottery of, of 1,000 names was drawn from thousands of applicants. Unfortunately, because of the decrease in funding, it is unlikely that any of these individuals will be issued a voucher until next year. In order not to run out of money, we will likely need to reduce the number of voucher holders by up to 200, and this will be done through attrition so that we should not have to remove anyone from the program. HACSA's low-income housing programs provide ladders of opportunity for the middle class for anyone willing to work hard. We have many examples where this has happened. One person who comes to mind is a young man who lived in Haxa public housing for 10 years as a child. Today, he is the assistant principal at Willamette High School. Hardworking people should be able to afford housing and still have enough money for groceries and other necessities. Veterans, the elderly, people with disabilities, and young families are forced to spend more than 40 to 50 percent of their income on rent or face homelessness. Children are the greatest victims. We know that the stress of poverty and the constant need to move associated with a lack of housing directly contribute to wi a widening gap in educational achievement. This is no way to treat the most vulnerable Americans. HACSA does have some reserve dollars that will enable us to administer the public housing and Section 8 programs through the end of this calendar year. However, in 2014, we will be forced to severely reduce our services unless Congress decides to adequately fund the programs 
that give all Americans a chance to afford a safe, decent place to live. Thank you.